Hi, Jeff Demore here, Converter Accessory Corporation. Today I'll be speaking with you about our five and a half inch diameter wrinkle stop anti-wrinkle roll. Um, wrinkle stop is available in uh, several diameters. Uh, I've done a video on the uh, three and three eighths inch diameter. Today I'm going to show you the five and a half inch diameter. That's by far our most common size. We also have an eight inch diameter. But the five and a half inch diameter is available for roll faces from 20 inch um, up to uh, about a hundred inch face. It'll handle uh, materials as narrow as uh, 16 inches all the way up to about uh, 96 inches. Um, so what we have here is our test unwind stand. Um, we're unwinding a, uh, a thin polyethylene film. It's three mil uh, under tension. We're going around some idler rolls. Now all the idler rolls in this machine have been lined up relatively pretty per perfectly. Um, except for this roll. This roll is uh, skewed on purpose. So what, if you take a look at this roll, you'll see that this mounting block does not come up flush to this frame. But if you look across the machine, you'll see the mounting block is up flush to the frame. So this roll is skewed on purpose about a half of an inch. And that's so that we can build wrinkles into the material on purpose. So that I can show you the wrinkle stop in action taking those wrinkles out. Um, this is our adjust-to-pull anti-wrinkle system. This is not going to be displayed today. We, I do have a separate video showing these. Uh, these are not engaged and they're not being used. The wrinkle stop is the roll I'm showing you today. That's this uh, roll here. It's five and a half inches in diameter, like I said. Um, and then we have a simple rewind. We just rewind the material on onto here. So we're going to run this today and show you how that works. So the wrinkle stop is a linear, no bow, smooth surface anti-wrinkle roll. And so what we've done is we've created the perfect situation for taking wrinkles out of the material. There's nothing built into this roll. There's no grooves. There's no bow. There's nothing that can distort your material in order to take the wrinkles out. As far as your web is concerned, it's just like any other idler roll in your machine. The way it works is it has a rubber sleeve that stretches as it rotates. The material enters on a contracted side of the roll exits on the expanded side, so as this roll is rotating, that rubber sleeve is constantly stretching underneath the web, and that's what pulls the wrinkles out. I'm going to show you that now. If you take a look at this roll, the wrinkle stop right now is in the relaxed position. Right now, it, it's, it's uh, adjusted so that it won't do any anti-wrinkle uh, anti action. It won't take any wrinkles out of material. So if you take a tape measure, you measure this side of the roll face, it's right around 31 and a half inches. Now if I take that same tape measure and measure on this side of the roll, it's still right at 31 and a half inches. So <clears throat> what, the way the roll works is you take a, a, a standard Allen wrench and you adjust this end collar. The way we do that, we screw down the screw and this whole end collar tilts. You'll see that tilting action. There's an ax axle built into this end collar assembly and you'll see that collar tilt as I adjust that screw. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of the roll. And again, you'll see that end collar tilt as I adjust that screw. So now what I've done is I've tilted these end collars in towards each other on this side of the roll and they're away from each other on 180 degrees on the other side of the roll. So now if I measure this roll again, you'll see that where the collars are facing each other, where the web enters the roll, it's about 31 inches now instead of 31 and a half. On the other side of the roll, that rubber sleeve is about 32 inches. So the rubber sleeve is short on this side. The material enters on the short side, wraps around the roll, exits on the long side. It's a dead shaft idler, so that um, um, expanding portion doesn't move. The point where the web, where, where the sleeve is fully contracted, stays consistent through the rotation. And I'm going to show you that because I'm going to turn this, I'm going to turn the machine on right now, and you'll see this run. So what you'll see here with this roll is. At this point, you're going to see some wrinkles going across the top here because of the skewed roller. And you're going to see some wrinkles in this section 
You'll also see some wrinkles on the input side of the roll, but on the output side of the roll, the web is completely flat. So all these wrinkles coming into the roll are being completely removed and they're flat on the output side of the roll. I can speed that up right now. It's running very slow. I'll speed that up. So again, you'll see a lot of wrinkles coming in and no wrinkles going out. Now, if I take the adjustment off of this roll, if I adjust those end caps so there's no tilt, you'll start to see those wrinkles come back. portion so the web enters on the on the contracted side wraps around exits on the expanded portion but what I'm going to show you is just to prove the concept of the roll I'm going to show you this if this is if this roll is turned backwards if it's oriented improperly you'll see I'm going to loosen up this mounting block and when I rotate this roll now you're going to see a whole lot of wrinkles come in. So what I'm doing is I'm entering on the expanded portion of the roll, exiting on the contracted side, and the roll is putting wrinkles in. Now you want to see those wrinkles removed. All I have to do is orient this roll back to the proper position. Now you see all those wrinkles removed. And then again, what you would do is you would normally, whenever you get this roll, you would never do that. I just want to show you the, the uh, concept of the roll. So you would get it in. You'd mount it or you'd orient it properly, lock the mounting blocks in place, and be done with it. Um, a new feature of the wrinkle stop is we powder coat all the metal parts on the wrinkle stop, so that stops any de degradation of steel and aluminum parts. Obviously, steel can rust. These are all steel parts, and they're all powder coated so that the, uh, the quality of roll is very high. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate your time.